If your job is to compare the annual snowfall between two ski resorts for the past 50 years, you would need a way to summarize all the data. A box plot, also known as a box and whisker plot, is a good way to summarize large amounts of data. A box plot displays the range and distribution of data along a number line. To make a box plot from a set of data, start by ordering the data. Move the remaining tiles to arrange the values from least to greatest. Find the median or middle value that splits the set of data into two equal groups. The sixth value divides this list into two equal groups of five. Next, find the median of the lower half of the data set. Do the same to find the median for the upper half of the data set. Finally, find the lower and upper extremes of the data set. These five values are everything you need to construct a box plot. To draw a box plot, begin by plotting points for the five values above a number line. Now draw vertical lines through the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile. Form a box by connecting the vertical lines from the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile. Finally, draw the whiskers from the extremes to the box. By finding the middle values of the ordered data set, you have separated the data into four equal groups called quartiles. The distance between the points in the box plot tells you about the distribution of the data in the quartiles. A shorter distance, as in Q1, means the quartile data is bunched together. A longer distance, as in Q4, means the quartile data is spread out. If there is no one middle value in the set of data, use the average of the two middle values as the median. If there is no middle value in the lower or the upper half of the data set, use the average of the two middle values as the median. Regardless of how the medians are determined, the lower and upper extremes are always the first and last items in an ordered set of data. Now back to the problem of comparing the annual snowfall for the two ski resorts. The data for the past 50 years has been plotted as a box plot. Analyzing the box plots makes it easy to summarize and compare the amounts of annual snowfall for the two resorts. From the box plot, you can easily see the median snowfall for each resort. The median is the middle value of the data set. Using the medians to compare the resorts, Mad Mountain appears to be better than Powder Valley because it has a higher median annual snowfall. Using the box plot, you can easily identify the record high and record low annual snowfalls for each resort. Mad Mountain seems attractive because it has the largest record high snowfall, but it also has the smallest record low. Recall that the greater the distance between points in the box plot, the more spread out the annual snowfall data is. Comparing distributions, Powder Valley seems like a better choice because the amount of snowfall does not vary as much from year to year. Finally, if you were interested in knowing which resort has a greater chance of receiving more than 300 inches of snow, the box plot shows this too. Mad Mountain has a greater chance of receiving more than 300 inches of snow since every value in its fourth quartile is greater than 300 inches.